hello guys in this video i will show you how to integrate paypal payment gateway in your laravel project so first of all what thing needed for it step one install following package in your laravel project these two package is required for paypal payment integration in laravel project i have already installed these two packages in my laravel project and complete this process you must be publish your vendor folder using this command php artisan vendor publish and then after you also publish your config folder php artisan config colon publish using this command after this process com completed paypal.php file automatic generate in your config folder paypal.php and you can easily set here your client id and secret id so how to get client id and secret id so simply log in your in your paypal developer account and simply create one app simply create here my app and credential and you can easily get your client id and your secret id and bo both of set in your paypal.php and then after create one route for creating your paypal payment form i have already create route paypal form and this route call paypal controllers index method i have already controller create one paypal controller in my controller folder in your paypal controller file you must be use this all class for paypal integration and then after create one authentication token using your client id and your secret id you can simply simply generate authentication token using this code and then after i have create one function for my paypal form i simply create my paypal form like this one amount field and one button i fill here any amount and press this button so this amount is pay in my account i saw my paypal form call i have simply create here one form this form is called paypal payment route i simply write here one text form and one button you can show here and this code is 
for alert if our paypal is paypal payment successfully get so this code simply display success method in case our paypal payment process failed so this this code simply show here error message and this form is called paypal payment route so i already create paypal payment route in my route file i show you paypal payment paypal payment route called paypal controller payment method i create here one payment method for payment this line is uh, i write here bypass laravel by default token and then after i write here code i set here my redirect url and i pass here another route for redirection purpose paypal status this route is called paypal get payment status method so i write here one another method for this route if any if our paypal process is successfully get true response and in case any false response so i write i handle this response using this method if our result get status equal equal approve so i simply pass here payment success and redirection our paypal form and in case our payment method get false response so i have set here session error session and pass here one message payment fail and redirect our paypal form so i can show you this code i simply write for debugging i simply get 10 dollar and continue okay i have get here some response this is my payment gmail merchant id this is business account email id this is ten dollar
and this is return URL. And this is our stat approve if I get approved so you can write here your database logic and you can easily handle this request I have comment this code and try again first of all I have so in my amount account login this is my business account and I am so how many USD dollar in this account funding and now here 998 dollars so here and I try to pay 1000 dollar and pay continue ok guys our payment is success so let's check in our amount refresh this page our balance is now showing is increase in funding refresh again ok guys our balance is increase so our payment is successfully payment in our account now I am so my all code here I am create one item using item object set item name item name one set currency USD set quantity one set price request get amount which I am pass in my text box and then after create item list object and set here set item using this object I have set item and I have simply pass this array items array and then after I create amount object and 
I set currency using amount object and I have again pass here our text box amount and then after I have create one transaction object and set here description and test item array and then after I set create redirection URL object and set here our redirection URL and then after set intent for sale and here I am writing if in our result array get equal approval so you can easily write here your database logic I can I show my all code so you can easily implement this payment gateway this is my payment controller code you simply create only three function index payment and get payment status index method for our payment form payment method for creating payment and get payment status method for handle our response so thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget subscribe my youtube channel thank you